Oh, he liked that song. My brother does too. Even though he's seven years old. Oh, y'all, this is like a little uh, skyline. There's duty on the skyline. <laughs> Go, girl. Um, for the trip that me and Papa are going on next weekend, we are, um, it's no surprise. I can just tell y'all where we're going. We're going to the Poconos. And this is like, this is not something that we decided on. This is actually a company trip. So I'm not really sure how my vlogging is gonna go. Y'all, when I tell you, I might have to do like a mini story time just getting to this point because when I tell you, neither one of us want to be here because neither one of us, we don't want to be here. And I know what you're thinking. Why would you be on a vacation that you don't want to be on? Well, I'll get into all that. I it's will get free. into all that. Yeah, it's it's free. Um, it's actually a company trip, so you know I'm just going for 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 crowd participation. But child, the struggle mm -hmm. and, and and everything that I don't had going on to get to this point. So I'll probably do like a little mini story time at some point. But I just wanted to go ahead and open the vlog. Um, if I don't get a lot of footage, it's because again this is a company trip. So I don't want to, you know, <clears throat> put people in the video that don't want to be in the video, that don't need to be in the video, things like that. So um, I probably won't get a lot of footage, but I'll get what I can for y'all just in case any of y'all are interested in visiting the Poconos, okay? So good morning. Hope y'all doing well. Happy Friday and all of that and all of that and all of that. So I'll talk to y'all later. Once we once we touch down, I'll, I'll be back. Bye. So we are finally up, up and away. So we left Hartsfield Airport and we flew into LaGuardia Airport in New York. That's Queens, New York. Um, so we got a charter bus from uh, is what picked us up from the airport. We got on a charter bus. And we went through the Bronx and the different little cities right there in that area. Y'all, that was my only my second time in New York. And all I did was ride through. So I don't know exactly what I was looking at. But I do know we rode by like um, City Field Stadium. That's where like the Mets play at. And then we saw all the different little apartment buildings and them high rises that's down there in New York. Whew, it was it was different. It was different. <laughs> but anyway, we eventually ended up in this little quiet country area. And that's when we got into Pennsylvania. And you'll know exactly when you're almost there. Because it'll start to look like a scene from the movie Get Out. Like, legit. <laughs> if you arrive there in the dark, you're not going to see anything but the dark and your headlights. So I hope you got both headlights because you're going to need them. But anyway, once you arrive, you will definitely not be disappointed. Woodlock Resort is an all-inclusive getaway for literally every age group. It's over 1,200 acres of property and accommodates over 1,000 guests at a time. 
again, I was on a company trip. I was not on a personal trip. So I was unable to get much footage, but because I was respecting my colleagues and my coworkers' privacy, I did put together a pit collage instead. So I hope you guys can kind of get a gist of what the resort is like because I want y'all to go. First, let's talk about where you'll be staying. So they have a bunch of different options for you to choose from. They have a hotel that's attached to the main building, um, which is just a pretty basic standard type of hotel type of deal. You know, you got your room, your bathroom, a little sofa, and a balcony. So um, that's one accommodation. They also have apartment style accommodations which i actually thought was really cool and a nice idea because that's something that you don't see at a lot of resorts like they don't offer things like that so i thought that was really really cool um and they also have houses they have anywhere from a three bedroom to a five bedroom house that you can stay in depending on how many people are with you and um they have like lot really large living quarters comfy beds you know, full kitchen, the whole shebang. So that's what I stayed in and we really enjoyed it. Now, if you really want to go all out, they also offer luxury suites, which are available with the swim out pools, um, the, the big fireplace outside, jacuzzi tubs and all the upgraded interior. I would suggest this for like any weddings, anniversaries or special occasions. The property is so huge, like y'all, please do not expect to think that you about to be walking everywhere that you got to go. No, ma'am. No, sir. You're going to need to get on the shuttle. The shuttles are literally running from sunup to sundown. They can take you from breakfast all the way to the nighttime, okay? Um, but I do think they stop running at a certain time. So if you out clubbing and you trying to get back to your home, you might want to shut it down at, you know, a quarter till so that you could catch the last shuttle. But anyway, Woodlock Resort is open year round. So I would say that your sleeping accommodations are going to depend on the time of year that you're going to want to go and how many guests are going to be traveling with you. But another really cool feature that they offer is they have their own personal app. So that you can keep up with everything from dining to games and shows and even realtor opportunities. The entertainment is absolutely endless. So I'm going to start off with talking about the things that the babies can do. I would say children anywhere from walking age to about four years old, they have like indoor outdoor pools. They have a, um, a kids club. With so many games and things for the children to play with and color and interact. And they also have a petting zoo depending on the time of year. So I think that's really cool for the small kids. And then the bigger kids to the teenagers, they also have indoor-outdoor pool. They have a volleyball court. They have resort games. So that's like... That's like the little, they have the survival game. They had another something called Hunt. So it's like these little places you can go inside of buildings and out um, on the actual property where once you get to one stop, it's going to tell you how to get to the next stop. So it's something that kind of keeps them thinking and keep them on their feet like all day. And they also have a basketball court, ice skating rink, and at night they have a teen club. So... I absolutely love this because it makes the kids actually want to put down the electronics, put down their phone, and do something different for a change. So, you know, I love that. And for us adults, there's just a never-ending list of activities and things to do. They have a carriage ride. They have batting cages, go-karts, boat rides, mini golf. Or maybe you just want to relax that you can sunbathe, you can walk the trail, um, you can sit and chill, or you could try something new. Like me and my friends, we, deci <laughs> we decided 
that we wanted to try the paddle boats for the first time. So um, the way they had the paddle boats set up, I didn't want all four of us to be on the same paddle boat. So I just let them three go. And I was the girl that carried the purses because I wasn't trying to have us flip the paddle boat over. But they had a ball. They went out there, they conquered their fears, and they had so much fun that they wanted to do it again. But at that time, by the time they got back, it was time for us to get ready for the nightlife. So. Don't drive me to the hill. Bring me back. Okay. Don't drive Patty to hell. Bring Patty back. Patty, you got a pedal. Hold on. I can't. Move your exercise for you, Patty. Look at this curse over there. Go backward. Go backward. Turn, baby. Turn. Oh, no. I'm just going to say. Look, look who should have stayed. Look who should have stayed, y'all. Because I don't know how to travel, boat, and I don't know. <laughs> Girl, y'all will be back in an hour. <laughs> right, right. <laughs> y'all will be back by dinner time. <laughs> Patty is tripping. She ain't even happy. Yeah, this is a disaster waiting to happen. Jeez Louise. <laughs> One debt to society later. But we had to get ready for the nightlife. They have so many shows and trivia games to choose from that that's where your app is really going to come in handy so that you can decide what you really don't want to miss. They also have an adult club with various music and great drinks. So, you know, it's, of course, some of the music that came on, we weren't familiar with, but a lot of it we were. We were actually quite surprised that they have, they have stuff for everybody. And I know you guys want to know, what was the food hidden like? What was the food all about? And I do apologize in advance that I did not take any videos or pictures of my personal plate and my actual food that I was eating. But honey, the food was fooding. I wouldn't lie to y'all. Y'all know I think I'm a food connoisseur, so I wouldn't lie. When you purchase the all-inclusive package, your meals are on a schedule. Now, this is just to my knowledge. I'm not sure if you know, if they offer something different when it's not like a big group. But I keep telling y'all, I was on a company trip. So all of our stuff, of course, was already paid for. And everything was on a schedule. Breakfast, lunch, dinner was on a schedule. So um, we had breakfast from 7 to 10. We had lunch from 12 to 2. And we had dinner from 6 to 8. But... They also have plenty of places throughout the property for you to eat in between. So, like, if you want maybe some nachos, a hamburger, hot dog, you know, like snack food, just some french fries, pizza, something to hold you over until you get to that next big meal. They definitely have several little cafes and shacks and stuff like that for you to go ahead and grab you a snack or a drink or something to hold you over. Um, now, our company picked the lunch picnic package. Again, I don't know if this is something that they also offer for just a, um, you know, a personal family or whatever and not a company event. Um, but we did the company, they, they had like a company picnic type of deal. And so all that type of food that, that I'm showing you the pictures of, those are the kind of foods that we had. I feel like we had a lot more than that, though. It seems like I remember it being so many different kinds of meat. And I want to say they also had, um, like, shrimp and that type of stuff as well. But I remember they did another type of picnic at a night party that we had. And, y'all, they had so many, like, it was nachos it was hot wings. It was some of all the type of party food, meatballs. It, <laughs> Y'all, they had it going on. Woodlock had it going on. I'm not even going to hold you. But anyway, y'all, the food was hitting. It was really, really good. But I will say, if you do not come down there in your own personal car or a rental car, Please make sure to bring uh, all the snacks and the drinks that you're going to want to have in your room because 
the facility is so far away like i was telling y'all is no you're not gonna call your local pizza place and have them deliver you no pizza because it's nobody around there to bring you no pizza there's no such thing as uber in that neck of the woods so don't try it okay um, but overall, I definitely give Woodlock Resort a 10 out of 10. I definitely recommend. The accommodations were good. The amenities were good. They were very thought out. They have such creative like games and stuff for all ages. And everything was just overall A1. Like the staff, I feel like all the interactions I had with every type of member of staff was just really really nice they treated all of us like we were kings and queens so that's that's what i look for when i travel so um even though that was a company trip um i would definitely pay out of pocket to come to woodlock or you know if woodlock would like to have me then just email me woodlock because i'll be right there but anyway y'all that was my weekend sorry i didn't get a lot of footage but i told y'all why so hopefully this was enough to get y'all to make your plan your own vacation to the poconos at woodlock resort and if you liked anything about this video please do not leave without hitting that like button if you like anything about your girl p hope please do not leave without hitting that subscribe button other than that you already know I want you to be happy, be healthy, be safe. This is your girl P Hope and I will catch you in the next video. Bye guys.